But, you know, one of the things that I do appreciate about you and, well, and the messaging on your website and even the kind of the basis for thinking about our conversation today is that that word transformation. Mm -hmm. Is there an essential set of characteristics that are part of the transformation that you're talking about when, when, when information is important but insufficient? to get to transformation. What are the essential elements of transformation? Well, there's going to be two parts. There's the part where they're with me and that's having them understand that they really know far more than they think they know. And it's just putting it into different context or facilitating an exercise where they realize that they already know it. So that's, that's there, but how do we keep that alive? And that only comes from practice. And so when I do presentation skills, there's going to be a cohort of people who all know how to coach each other, who know the language and can use it to help each other. Because that's part of how I train, which is I help the participants coach each other so they don't need me, making me redundant. And that works well for presentation skills. Customer service is a little different because then we need the leadership to catch them doing the right thing. And I've I've often said to people, don't hire me for customer service training if you're not going to do any follow-up work, if you're not going to train your leaders to catch them and reward them and acknowledge them. Don't don't hire me because you will waste your money. So it does mean repetition and it does mean having other people comment on what you're doing because I don't think we're always good at being able to see our own strengths or the things that we need to improve. 